Hello, internet beings. Today, we're continuing our guide series with the shockingly powerful lightning tiger, Lelo. The fourth character you unlock, Lelo specializes in using snipers to deal high single target damage to enemies with every shot. We're going to cover his strengths and weaknesses, three primary ascension paths, and some key scroll choices. Let's start by going over Lelo's mechanics. First, his secondary ability is a straight line of lightning. When the lightning strikes an enemy, it bounces off, dealing damage to up to two additional enemies. This is excellent for killing small swarms of enemies, such as beetles or lanterns, or taking care of the flying rocks when fighting the golem. His primary skill is Fatal Current. When you activate this skill, Lelo gains additional movement speed and skill damage for the duration. Firing your weapon and hitting an enemy ends the ability early, causing a thunderbolt to strike the enemy. The shot itself receives 100% bonus damage, while the thunderbolt deals a base of 800 skill damage to the enemy. This is an important distinction to keep in mind when considering Layla's ascensions, as some impact the thunderbolt and some impact the shot itself. It is also worth noting that only the first hit is buffed by Fatal Current, meaning scrolls like Fisher Bear Paw or weapons with multiple hits, such as the Double Caliber, will be weaker choices overall. In terms of strengths, Lelo is the fastest character in the game. Combined with the Speed Booster and Fatal Current, he has a lot of potential to dodge and reposition. This is especially necessary because of his primary weakness, having the smallest health and shield pool of all the characters, and having no talents that boost survival. When you are playing lay low, be prepared to do a lot of running, a lot of hiding, and a lot of dodging. Lastly, it is important to remember that Lelo is very focused on snipers. Thankfully, his talent sniper makes it relatively easy to get a strong sniper at some point in the game. While you can use other weapons in the game, it is important to keep in mind that some talents and ascensions only work with snipers. Before we dive into the guide, a couple quick notes. One, Gunfire Reborn is a roguelite game, meaning this will not be something you can copy and paste and follow in every run. This is intended to be a set of priorities that gives you an idea of what works well and is efficient so that you have some guidance based on what you find in a particular run. Two, every character is going to have weapon and scroll priorities. We aren't going to rank every single weapon or scroll and there will be other opportunities and combinations that are viable. This guide simply provides some effective combinations for the hero so you know what to watch for. Spiritual blessings will be covered in their own separate video. Finally, updates to the game will create some changes to the information provided. As those patches come out, I will go over them and address the things you need to know so that you can always be up to date. The three primary build paths we are examining today are the standard sniper, the rapid fire build, and the skill damage build. Before we get into any of the three, there are two ascensions, Voltaic, Aegis, and Thunder Turbo that will not be on any of these lists. The reason for that is because they are far and above the safest and most powerful ascensions that you can pick up, and can be taken at any point for every single build. Unless you are trying to do something specific, pick these up whenever you have a chance and it will make everything easier. Let's dive into the standard sniper. This build focuses on a long range, one shot, one kill play style, leaning into the extremely high burst damage potential of Fatal Current. This is particularly strong for killing bosses, although positioning will be tricky throughout the normal stages as keeping your distance is not always easy. This build can easily reach a point of killing anything in one or two shots, even at the highest levels, if you can survive to that point. Lean hard into the two ascensions we mentioned earlier, and prioritize Storm Blast and Shadow Knight to devastate key targets throughout each run. The Rapid Fire build is one where we start to see a bit of flexibility. This build is at its best with a strong woodpecker, taking full advantage of Eye of the Storm, but can also be used with non-sniper weapons by taking advantage of Voltaic Surge. With Lelo, you want to prioritize the Crit X Gemini pairing in every build. 
and voltage surge will allow you to leverage achieving high crit rate through this method to bridge the power gap of not using a sniper if you are forced or just want to use something else. The final build really comes in two flavors, both focused on skill damage and extending the duration and frequency of Fatal Current. For this build, you will be choosing your moments to strike with your weapon very carefully, instead prioritizing Fatal Current and Chain Lightning. Because both of these skills can utilize Fatal Current's skill damage boost, you can lean into the ascensions you find for either one, mixing and matching if necessary. With Lightning Governor and Thunder Nemesis, the value of Shadow Knight does go down, and we're generally going to move away from the weapon damage talents, as this is not the focus of the build. Lightning from the Void is generally fine, but less potent if you are focused on the Thunderbolts from Fatal Current. Finally, let's take a look at scroll priorities for Lalo. This is yet another character who really does not want flesh and bones, because his two best ascensions rely on having shields combined with a very small shield and health pool to start with. You are never going to get much by picking this up. Originally, I wasn't going to include the common pairings, Paranormality plus Reinforced Eggshell and Spirit Feline plus Dual Edge in these guides, but taking advantage of every defensive resource you can is very important, especially at higher reincarnation levels. From there, the scrolls fall into two groups, one for the sniper build and one for skill damage. For the sniper build, we are particularly interested in stacking up Lucky Shot Chance at every opportunity along the way with anything that boosts weapon damage. The damage numbers can be truly absurd when everything comes together. For skill damage, we want to keep in mind that both Thunderbolts and Chain Lightning are lightning damage, making Lightning Shard and Enthusiast viable options along the way with anything that boosts skill damage overall. As far as scrolls to avoid, we want to avoid Corruption Enthusiast because of the self-imposed slow, Brutal Gloves because Lalo is designed entirely around crits, Resolute because his shield recovery is way too important to double the amount of time before it starts, uh, and Veteran is simply mediocre because you never want to be that close to your enemies. There's one last mechanic to look at that is Lalo's Gifted Man talent. After unlocking this talent, the game randomly selects three effects out of a pool of 12. From those, you can select one. This choice will then augment your game in some potentially potent way. We're not going to discuss each of these individually, but I have grouped them together to give you a better sense of where each solution could take you. First, let's get the situational talents out of the way. All of these are relatively weak because of how specific they are and the RNG associated with them. While none of the options for Gifted Man are bad, these generally have a lower impact than the other choices. The second group is the Skill Damage group. And these are never bad and can be a sign for you to go into more of a Skill Damage oriented build. The third set has only two options, both of them focused on weapon damage. Both lean heavily into the long-range sniper playstyle and can be very impressive if you go down the standard sniper path. Finally, we have the most flexible group of options that work no matter the build, all of which are excellent. Whenever one of these options comes up, consider it carefully, as survivability can be a real challenge for Lalo. And now you are ready to roar at and zap your enemies! Don't forget to share some of your favorite Lalo moments with me through the comments, Twitch, or by joining the community Discord. Thank you for watching, and I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe.